Hey guys, it's Juliet, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, I do a lot of videos on fashion, luxury, and travel. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely hit the subscribe button. I'm also getting really into fashion, just generally speaking. I think before I was very focused on handbags, which I still love and will be a priority on this channel. But I do really love like clothes and shoes and things of that nature. So if that's what you're into, definitely check out my Instagram as well because you'll see how I style some of these pieces. I'm starting to get a lot more active over there. And then TikTok, I'm also on there. I talk a lot more casually just about handbags. Like you'll see more like behind the scenes over there. I want to talk a little bit about the two things I bought and I'm kind of nervous to see your reaction because they're definitely a little bit more trendy I would say and I tend to go for pieces that are more classic. I don't know how long maybe they'll be on trend but I'm gonna get a ton of use out of them until this trend is dead. So let's just get into the boxing and we could see what I'm chatting about. Okay so this is the bag here and I I mean it's so funny looking back at my other unboxings I feel like I'm now at the point of shopping at Chanel where it's like I don't know, it's just the first time experiencing the packaging of Chanel and I still love it every single time. I remember like maybe three years ago looking at Chanel's website and being like, I wish I could just like buy one thing from them. I remember not feeling like I could spend that type of money on myself and I think partly with like advancing in my career in finance and also just like reprioritizing the ways I'm spending my money has helped me to like start affording some of these things. So I'm just really happy and grateful to even be able to go to a store and buy these two pieces that I would say, like I said, are trendy pieces because I just remember the old me couldn't even imagine just getting like a small SLG. So that's pretty amazing and I don't take it for granted. And if you are the way I was in terms of shopping at Chanel, all I want to say to you is like keep working hard, keep going at your goals, keep saving, keep, you know, advancing in whatever career that path that you're on and know that like one day you'll be able to like have fun with your money too. And of course, like there's other great things that come with it. Like luxury goods aren't the only things that, you know, get me excited. So, okay, let's get into this. Also, I have them boxes already because I couldn't wait just to double make sure that I like them. So if anything looks off, that's probably why. But okay, I love these ribbons. Okay, so we'll go with the first big item and then we'll go with the smaller item. I bought shoes. Spoiler, they're for fall and winter. You guys probably have an idea of what they are now. This is just like a care booklet. I'm really, really excited to unbox these just so I could start wearing them. I think they're gonna surprise you because like I said, they're a little trendy. Okay, so I bought Chanel loafers. I'm dying. I know, okay, I have a feeling that some people might really not like these and some of you guys might really love these, but I wanna tell you guys my thoughts as to why I bought these before I show you the other item that I got. So I've been dying to get loafers actually because I know that's like really trendy right now to have like loafers. And I remember uh, like I think seeing the classic like quilted Chanel loafers with the CC on at the bottom with the flap over, actually yeah with the flap over with the CC. I'll insert a photo of it. I saw a lot of people getting those loafers and I really love them and I could definitely see myself getting them maybe next year if they come out with them again. But for me, I like something with a little bit more of like a platform. I just feel so good. I don't know, it just makes me feel so confident when I have that. So basically, I first fell in love with loafers when Prada came out with their loafers. But I kept being like, eh, I don't know if I wanna get loafers. But then Chanel came out with their quilted loafers and I really loved them. But like my only qualm with them was that I wish that they weren't so flat because I know myself, like, I don't like it when, like, shoes are too flat and don't, like, have any height to them at all. It's, like, for me, like, I wouldn't buy, like, ballet flats or anything like that. Like, I don't like flat-style shoes like that. So, anyway, someone on Instagram posted a photo with a platform quilted version, and I'll show a photo here in pink, but they had it in black. And so I tried to get these shoes so hard, they were, like, sold out everywhere. And I was just like, all right, fine. I'm just going to wait till next year to get them if they come back again. But then I've been buying a lot more outfits. And every time I've been trying on an outfit, I'd be like, I wish I had loafers. So I was just like, you know what? Let me just go to the Chanel store. I know those are sold out. I've tried even going through like personal shoppers to find them. 
And I went to the store in North Robertson in Los Angeles. They didn't have anything. I guess like what I was trying to find actually was I'm obsessed with my Louis Vuitton Lorette boots, like so obsessed, like I wear them non-stop fall winter. And I needed like a sneaker version of that. I, did, I just wanted outfits that wouldn't require boots that didn't go up so high above your ankle, if that makes sense. So I went to the store, North Robertson. They didn't have any styles that I liked. Then I went to the other one that's like near Rodeo Drive, that's like the flagship over here. And they have a great inventory. They have so many, so many, so many options. And I immediately saw these and fell in love. And the reason why I love these so much is because I feel like they have that classic style from the front of like classy type of shoe. But then if you look at it from the side and with like the detailing all around, it almost has like some edge to it, which I really love. And I think that's why I fell in love with the Louis Vuitton Lorette boots is because they look like very monotone in a way, but they, they're also like edgy and sexy to me. And I also love like just like the way that the platform is. It's like not that it has like a little heel, it's just like all across like platform. I love the gold like zip detailing. And then uh, over here, it's actually silver button on this and then silver laces the lace holes are silver so i love how they're mixing metals in terms of like gold and silver if the louboutin lorette boots were like my staple this past fall winter i think these are going to be like the second shoe that i wear all the time this fall winter i love the way that they actually have like this lace here but then it has like this like chanel like band that covers it i think it's just such a unique design Oh, and the, it also has a cute CC detail on the inside too. I just feel like there's just so many nuances to the shoe that I love. The stitching is perfection on it. And then at the bottom, it has the Chanel. It says, I think made in Italy somewhere I saw that. Oh yeah, both of them. It says made in Italy on the heel. So the craftsmanship of this is stunning. I'm going to show you guys me trying it on. The reason why I'm wearing this dress is because I want to show it to you guys with this outfit and then... I have other outfits I plan on wearing it with. If I can wear them now, I will. So this is the outfit. I'm gonna scan down so you guys can see. And then from the front, like I said, it's just like super simple style loafers, which I absolutely love. And then if you go, and then if I turn to the side, then you're like, okay, I see you. Like has some slight edge, still really classy though. I absolutely love it. It's just so cute with this outfit. Like, I feel like it just makes the outfit go together. So, yeah, I just feel like it's super comfortable. Exactly what I wanted. Something that I could wear every day, not really worry about. And go with, like, a ton of outfits. And I just feel like that's these shoes for me. Like, I think they're so freaking cool. Sorry, I need to get a new belt that actually fits me. But this is the outfit. I really love it. I think that it looks super cool either from the front or from the side. Yeah, I just think they're so freaking cool. I'm like so happy. These are gonna be like my new sneakers. Like I'm just gonna wear them all the time. Let me put this here and then we'll do the second one. Now I'm gonna show you guys the second item, which I'm sure a lot of you guys will like since I feel like it's still pretty trendy right now. Even though I'm saying these are trendy pieces, I still feel like I could see myself wearing them like 10 years from now and like just be like a cool mom kind of thing when I have kids. <laughs> Not that I'm gonna wait 10 years, but I feel like at that point I'll probably have kids. So yeah, I feel like 100% I'm saying trendy, but I personally will continue to wear them post trend being over kind of thing. So these are them and you probably, if you know packaging, know what this is. So I actually tried these on already because I like snuck them out of the bag and I'll try them on for you guys too. I got the Chanel CC tights. So I like do close-ups of this with my camera, but they're like stunning and I don't want to like rip them because I would literally cry, but these are tights that I had been eyeing for a while as well and on the resale market honestly I didn't even know how much these cost I thought they cost like a thousand dollars or something I think that's approximately what they cost on the resale market 
But when I was at Chanel picking up these loafers, I just asked about um, the tights and they happened to have them in stock. Actually, I didn't even ask how much it was because I figured it'd probably be like, you know, a little less than the resale market price that I had seen. And when I, I saw it was $400, I was like shocked. And usually I don't, you know, I don't think I shy away typically of sharing price here, but like, anyway, I saw that it was $400 and I was shocked because I was like, wow, like I had no idea that the resale price was like so much higher. And I'm just so grateful to have gotten them from in store. And if you're in LA and you're near the store on Wilshire, they actually have other Chanel black tights. And they also have the white version too. They didn't have any in small, but they had medium. And given I'm like a little bit curvier on my bottom half, that works perfectly for me. So actually, funny story, I was there chatting with like a sales associate and one of the sales associate like couldn't find these tights and then the other sales associate was like, oh, I hid them for like my clients. And I mean, that was so like fine, but I was like in shock because like it's so interesting and funny, like the whole like sales associate like peer dynamic where it's like they, I don't know, they obviously want to make their clients happy so they'll like keep some goods for their specific clients so one of these sales associates was nice enough to give my sales associate the tights that she had hid somewhere in the stock room so i don't know that was just really funny i, I think it's just hilarious i'm just grateful i got my tights regardless i'm happy with them but i am concerned about ripping them nevertheless I just have been seeing that like these designer tights are really popular in like a bunch of other designers, not just Chanel. So yeah, that's basically it. So these are the tights. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I think they are so, so freaking cute, especially with these shoes. I absolutely love this whole look. I think it's just like, I don't know. I just feel like there's so many ways that I can style these shoes and tights and that's why I just get so so excited. So let me show you guys the close up of them. Like look at that detailing. So pretty. Like I absolutely love it. And they go up pretty high. Like the CCs go up to like my thigh up here which is pretty nice. And I just love that they're the perfect amount of sheer. Like not too sheer. Actually I think that's a cut underneath of my knee. <laughs> But yeah, it's just so pretty. So pretty. And then to my shoes. This is the detailing I was talking about before. So cute. I'm like, I don't know, I'm dying. I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying. Because this is such a look. So yeah, I mean, I could try more outfits with these stockings, but I honestly just don't have time to do that. It's a work day, it's a Wednesday, so I'm kind of like in the middle of everything. Well, not work day, but like, you know, a work night, so it's kind of like crazy. So I'm not going to style these stockings with other outfits. If you want to see me style them, like I mentioned, you could check out my Instagram. I'll be wearing them a lot more there with other outfits, I'm sure. So I'll show you guys close-ups of the shoes now and then the tights as well, and that'll be it. So these are close-ups of the shoes. I just want to show you guys the details. So you have this gold zipper. This feels like almost like a very thick style like rope or like some type of threading. But I love that detailing. I love the platform heel like I mentioned. And then we have this Chanel button that's super gorgeous. This is in the silver. And it's pretty raised as you can see here if I turn it. And then look at this like stitching. Like, I just love how precise the stitching is on these shoes. The craftsmanship is so great because this, these are made in Italy. So as you can see, the front looks like this. It's just like a very simple, elegant shoe. I'm gonna demonstrate how you open the clasp. So you're gonna open it like this. Then you have this tie situation. I'm not gonna untie it. Then there's the inside made in Italy, Chanel. And then this is the CC detailing on the interior that I absolutely love. I think that's gorgeous. So yeah, that's basically it. I feel like, again, I think the reason I'm feeling like so like nostalgic in this video is because this is like trendy designer pieces and I never go trendy. More so too because I'm trying to like make sure that all my money is going towards something that will 100% still be in style for years to come. So. I guess for me, I'm just feeling so grateful to know that like I could even take the risk of buying like trendier pieces from Chanel. So 
just want to share that for you guys. I'm just feeling really grateful. And I do a lot of gratitude on my Instagram too. It's not just about luxury stuff. That's actually I try not to ever like do gratitude around luxury because I feel like there's so much more in life to be grateful for like your family, your friends, but not even that, but like more so even the small things because I feel like we take those things for granted like the weather outside or the fact that you're healthy or the fact that your family is healthy. So things like that. I think it's just important to practice gratitude every day, not just because in general, but more so for your mental health, which uh, I'm a huge advocate for. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you really like this video because I do a lot more luxury unboxings and just reviews and lifestyle type of videos and travel. So if you guys like that, definitely hit subscribe and I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.